Okay, this is the M1 paper from June 2021. This is question number two, which is a kinematics question, constant acceleration, we can see here. So it's going to be using SUVAT. Uh, let's get started and look at it. I always start with a little diagram. Uh, just helps me out in this particular situation. We've got this car going from A to B, apparently, and it says time t equals 0, we're at A. Okay, so that's our start off point. After three seconds, it says it's traveled 20 meters. In the fourth second, it says it travels 10, so be careful there. t equals 4. That's 10 meters there. And then by the time it gets to B here, the speed of it, it's traveling with 20 meters per second. So I always think that's a really good way of just getting started before I do my SUVAT to actually um, understand all the various different bits and pieces that are going on. So um, if we're gonna look at this then, what I normally say with SUVAT questions is that when I set out my SUVAT, S, U, V, oops, A and T, and I'm gonna do, uh, let's call these different points here, A, C and D here, for A, C now, what I'd normally be expecting to have is to have four of them involved and to know three of them and then you can just jump straight in and do your SUVA as we're actually going through and doing it. I've already done this question before so I know that actually what we're going to have this time is a pair of simultaneous equations coming out. So if I look at the um, AC journey I can say we go 20 meters, U I don't know so I'm going to leave it as U. V hasn't been mentioned at all in this and, and isn't going to help me at all, so I'm just going to leave that as that. The acceleration, again, I don't know, but I do know that time is equal to three seconds there. So that's unusual because I've only got two pieces of information, but what that means is I can set up my equation, S equals UT plus half AT squared, but what I'll end up with, as I said just a second ago, is putting everything in, 20, I've got 3u plus a half a times 3 squared. I'm actually going to get the, an equation then. 20 equals 3u plus 9a over 2 there. And I'm going to call that equation number 1. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then if I do now from... For AD, so now this is my journey all the way to there this time. Then applying all the same things here, SUVA again, S, U, V, A, and T, I'll be able to set up a second simultaneous equation here because now I've got S equals 30. I'm doing from A to D, not from C to D. I need to do from A to D and then A to C so that my U stays as the same for both of them. If I consider just that little bit here, the U here would be the V of the first one. Don't get involved in all that. That's just going to get too complicated. So hopefully that makes sense as we're looking at this one. If not, just stop the video and, and have a bit of a think about that. So U is going to be U there and these two U's are the same as each other. So that's the whole key to this question. V, they're not mentioned again, so I'm not interested. A is still going to be A, A is constant throughout it. And this time T is four seconds, because from A to D, it's taken four seconds there. So I can set up another S equals UT plus half AT squared. I can put in this time, we're going to have 30, and it's going to be 4U, and it's going to be a half A four squared this time. So I'm going to get 30 is equal to 4u plus 8a this time. And that can be equation number two. And now all I've got to do is to solve those two uh, simultaneously. How much space we've got? Not a lot. So I'm just going to uh, do that quite quickly. Uh, if I multiply 
that one by four and I multiply that one by three, I'll end up with uh, 80 is equal to 12u plus 18a, and I'll end up with 90 is equal to 12u plus 24a. And again, the whole point about multiplying them by three and four is if I multiply them by three and four, then the u's will cancel, won't they? Because they'll both be 12u. So if I now take these away from each other, subtract these from each other, I'm going to get, <clears throat> excuse me, minus 10 is equal to minus 6a. So a works out to be equal to 5 over 3. Once I've got a equals 5 over 3, I can then put that back into either of those two equations to work out what u is. And as I say, because I can see I haven't got any space here, I'll let you do that. u works out to be equal to 25 over 6, if you put that back in. And now coming back to the question, um, what they want is to find the time, oops, the time for this journey all the way to be there now. So I'm going to set up SUVAP for a third time here, but because I know U and A, this is going to be nice and easy to do now. So for A, B, the whole journey, SUVAT, really didn't give us a lot of space for this question. One page, maybe I'm taking too long to do it. Um, so for that journey then, from A to B here, not interested in S, I mentioned S at all, but I now know that U is 25 over 6. I know V is equal to 20. I know the acceleration is equal to 5 over 3. So this is our classic SUVAP where we've got three of them and we're looking for the fourth one. So in this case, V equals U plus AT. So if I do that, V equals U plus AT. So I've got 20 is equal to 25 over 6 plus 5 over 3 times T. So just rearrange all that. And if you rearrange all that, T works out to be 9.5 seconds, apparently. So interesting SUVAT question there where um, they do occur every now and then. You're going to need to use simultaneous equations to solve them. Really highlights the key of that initial diagram, meaning that I don't make mistakes when I'm setting up SUVAT in three separate ways there. So hopefully that's a good little tip for you. Hopefully that makes sense.